Hey, what's up everybody? Luke and Shoots Toys here. How y'all doing today? Um, yeah, got some toys to unbox. Got a good one here. I've been looking at it all day yesterday and the day before. Looks really cool. Uh, also going to do some size comparison on the Joy Toys. I uh, want to show you this light I just got at Walmart Day. Pretty dope for toy photography. Um, going to have to do a shot with it, using it. Um, yeah, we're doing good today. I hope everybody else is doing good. Uh, you know, Veterans Day is coming up, so think of veteran and, um, you know, they put their lives on the line for us and, you know, they do things that they're told to do that they, you know, don't want to do, so they do them anyway, so let's uh, thank a veteran and, uh, yeah, check it out. So, I want to show you the first, the Joy Toy, and we'll unbox him in a minute, but there's the Joy Toy, it's the Iron Wrecker 6, um, yeah, it's the uh, Orbital Combat Mecha Bombardment type whatever that is that's what he is all right that's him so we'll do that in a minute but first i want to show you guys these not these uh lights right here uh it's a vivitar light very cool man i got it for 30 bucks um powers on very bright you know um cycles through just like a regular nice one you know that you get and it's kind of warm you know to the touch it does get hot it has modes where you can hue it you can use the colors and then you can do the effects really cool stuff uh, sorry about the strobe guys didn't mean for that to happen but yeah this light is really cool man i really love it best light i've gotten so far from vivitar uh, not sponsored by them in any way but was, would appreciate the hookup you know if, uh, anyway gonna use that in some of my shots man i was messing around with it earlier it's really cool um sorry about the fan it's hot we live in arizona it doesn't get cold here until later on so anyway uh, put that over here uh, what was I gonna show y'all guys next oh yeah so the box comparison I'll be right back so this is a 115 people are asking what about the what are the difference between the 115 scale and uh, your regular action figure well this is a box from the 115 this is the fear mecha it's a heavy assault mecha here I think it's the ninth legion it's pretty cool man I, this guy right here has a lot the one that has he has a lot of soft goods so let me put him over there or right, I'll set him right here and then here's this box next to him if I can do it right you see the difference in the 125th scale and the 18th scale by boxes I mean there's a there's a little bit of a difference if I can get it matched up there yeah so they're pretty big size pretty good man I, I, I'm gonna grab one off the thing here now and bring that nine that nine inch the big one is like really hard to mess with so I didn't want to bring him down there and him fall over for every five minutes here's the big dude and let me get homie right here he's probably the least to fall apart out of all of them. so here's the difference here 125th scale 115th I can put them together and show you the difference far away but you know what this dude would go good as like a droid like a droid for a stormtrooper you know like follow it like a scout for the stormtrooper to go ahead of the patrol pretty good idea there huh? I think that's that's what he's good for and this guy he's the assault type you know he's the one going urban looking like Chappie you know I love Chappie anyway let me put these back without breaking them and then we'll get into opening that bad boy there. That's size comparisons of your of your joy toys. The people are like three inch on the one fifteenth scale. They're like your three three inch GI Joes, and um, what you gonna call it? The other um, the one twenty fifth size. They're a little bit smaller, but and they're a little bit more delicate, not as detailed. So anyway, put that over there. And um, I'm going to fix this camera so we can open this bad boy here. I think I'm going to put you guys up here. Hold on. And turn on the light. Let's see what's going on here. All right. Um, this way. And then I'll turn that that way. Uh, and then we'll go back. There we go. And then I need to drop this thing down. I'm gonna figure out a better way to do this, dude. 
guys, so let me go up a little bit here. Anyway, I just want to show you guys this. Alright. Turn the light on so you can see better. Right, turn it up. Let's get some. No, let's get some. There we go. Alright, that's better. Alright, so there we go for that. And I got us a knife already. A cool one for the... Well, I've had this. But... What you think about that? Pretty cool, huh? Unboxing knife. Official. Official unboxing knife. Going down. Double bladed. Get stitches if you mess up and miss. So here we go down. Unboxing the... Orbital Bombardment mech. That way. And let's go down. I'm taking it all off getting out of here so this dude's pretty cool man i'm telling you pretty stoked to have him let me fix this up there we're a little crooked huh there we go all right so here we go throw that over there all right these boxes let's open them up and see what he looks like package so there's the package i mean the boxes are awesome man you know but you know there's just a you know when you buy action figures, the quality of the packaging, you know, you can tell the quality of the action figure, you know. This is a good quality. The boxing's good. It's just, it's a display piece, man. You know, you don't, you don't, let me close the knife. It's a display piece, you know. You don't, see how the box is? It's good quality, but you got to be careful, you know. If you want it to feel good, you got to be careful with it. So anyway, there he is on the thing, or in his little, little cocoon, casket thing, whatever. I don't know, shoot. There's tape on this, we need the knife back. Cut that, cut that bad boy down. Going around, going around, up from there, close my knife. This is all his uh, accessories, he's got a stand with all this now this bad boy got me um got my pocket for about i think 70 bucks on on amazon that's where i got it from so check your different places man i've seen some people trying to sell this thing for 200 dollars, man like like they bumped their head all over the place you know i'm like not even close son not even close those right there so i can find them and I'll bring over the little ruler thing here so you can kind of see an idea of what the size comparison is. Let me see if I can get you guys a little bit closer. Oh yeah, I can't zoom in and out, but I can come in this way on this. Alright, let's go up a little higher. There you go. Sorry about that, guys. There we go. So, so I'm getting it together, trust me. One day. Flip this around. Go. A little size comparison on each one. Ah, uh, there we go. And these are the little pieces that you got to put together. They're the most annoying. And see, this is the difference between the 125th scale. Let me get dude back again. And your homeboy here. This is your regular G.I. Uh, Joe size right here. And this is your 125th scale. So they're smaller, very much smaller, half the size of your 125th or 115th scale here. So you're a 3.75 or 4 inch figure and then your 125th scale. The guys I showed y'all the other day was 125th scale. No, they're 115th, sorry. I'll strike that. Bring it back. There's the stand. Um, yeah, I don't see the other parts of the stand anywhere. Um, did I miss something here? Let me see. Maybe it's in here with him. Behind him. There it is. Behind him. Okay. So there's that, that, that. Here goes this guy. I'm going to try and get him out without him popping all over the place. Smooth and easy. See the way we like it. And there he is. I mean, they, this guy's put together pretty good, so that means he wasn't handled wrong. The box, usually you get these boxes and they're all tore apart, took apart, pieces fall off like that, every, you know, all inside there, but this guy was really good. 
Way to go, Amazon. Good one. Finally. <coughs> and he was put in a box. I mean, I got the, the one I showed you at the size comparison. I got him in his original box sent with the label on it. And I'm like, man, that's insane. Anyway, his own hands right here. Really easy to put back on, this stuff is. You know, there's some people that super glue these pieces together, like his thing. There's no reason for that to have to come off again if you're just going to display it, but you never know. Right, so this is like his, uh, like his, uh, whatever you call it. These are his antenna, I guess, like for his communications. Should open up. Let's see where the cockpit's at. Let's see what I got to do here. There you go. There's the cockpit. It's where the guy goes inside. We'll do that in a minute. But yeah, it's a pretty basic one, man. I mean, not basic, but cool. His uh, thruster moves back and forth. Good detail, man. You can take this whole thing off, too. The thing about these is you can interchange these parts. Like, I'm not going to because then I'll forget which part goes where because I'm old like that. But we'll just say, hey, maybe we'll try it one day with two of them and switch their parts in and out and see what they look like. I don't know. We feel fun and we'll do it. We feel good about it. Maybe we'll do it. But check it out. It looks cool. So we'll stand him up right there. He should stand up. These things pose good too, man. If you can get the parts to stand. Some of the parts are real loose. I guess it's whatever year they were made in. But let's put him down right here. So he's a good solid over 8 inches. So he's a good 9 inches, 9.5 inches tall. Here's the stand. You got to assemble the stand. Instructions. We might use them. We might use those, man. We might need to. I've been having to use them on here. Okay, so does this go this way or this way? See, that's where your, your obstructions get important. But I'm thinking it goes this way because it acts like it wants to. Mm, there it goes. That's the way it goes. Good stand. Really good thick stand. This is going to hold this mech. On the one I got with the Red Dragon, I, I couldn't tighten. It just kept tightening and tightening. But sometimes you get these and you don't want to tighten them too much because I think the screws strip real easy right here. You see the screws? If you can see them, I'm not going to put it up there because it gets blurry. So the screw there. And then there's another screw down here. So if you tighten those and it's loose and you just tighten them enough to where it's, you know, enough to where he ain't going to fall over when he's on there, you're good to go. Right? So let's see what we got in here. This is where I might need the instructions. I think I am because I want to do it right, you know. You want to do it right the first time, you don't have to keep doing it over and over again, right? So, I already know where these go. These are magazines, and um, they can replace the drum magazines if you want to. They interchange. Ay, ay, ay. Plastic, plastic avalanche. Plastic avalanche. There we go. Check it out. So, these replace the drum magazine. You can use a regular magazine if you want. And I really like it because it's just dope. And I think his handles are in here for this. So these are his handles for this. It's just like a sword, it looks like. So where does he hold on? Okay, I see. We got You got to be careful. See what I'm saying? You get something slid on and um, he has zero handles. Or do these go on there? Wait, no. Instruction time. Instruction time. Stupid. Oh, there you go. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay, so homie needs to, here's his gun right here. Okay, so he has like braces on there somewhere. Let me see where he's at. On his, on his thing to where he holds the gun underneath here. He's going to hold the gun up underneath like he does on the package. So, um, let's see. This goes into that, and that goes. Wow, let's let's get it together here, huh? And this is gonna go opposite what I wanted it to. Wow, this is gonna be kind of confusing here for me. So this goes there, slides in one way, back ways, this way, like so. Don't let me go. Let me see how he's holding. 
but like that, I think, I hope, maybe I thought. In these parts, man, once you get them on, I don't think you're ever gonna get them back off, ever. So this guy, he should have, right here, these pieces, I think. No. Um, um, okay, this one. Uh, let's see. Get it together. So that's for, these are for his blades here. These are. So he's got one of each for his blades. And each one needs to get its own little, hang on, there should be four of these. Whoa. What's going on here? Are we missing a piece? Are we missing pieces? That one has one. That one's ready to rock. That one's ready to rock. That one's ready to rock and that one's ready. So these go for this. These are going to slide in with that facing out and the blade face, the, the longest part of the blade facing in. So let's see, it's going to go like this. So that's one. Set him over here out of the way. And then this guy is going to go Put the same way, Shane. Quit being stupid. Okay, that way. There you go. So anyway, while I'm doing this, we'll finish this up. We'll just want to see how everybody's doing, man. I mean, there's a lot going on in the world. And I think that you should go out and grab a toy out of your room right now after this video and go outside and do a shot and post it on Instagram and tag me in it so I know you watched my video. So this way I know these are worth doing, regardless if I am having fun or you are not, they're fun. So they're worth doing and people like to watch them. Very good detail. Very, 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 very good detail. Love it. Good job, Joy Toy. So that's the, the back blades for this dude. They go right in here. There's one, two, three, or two, three, four, right there. So I'm gonna stand this big boy up over here so he doesn't fall over and we can see the back of him there. And these are gonna go in, I'm thinking like, um, yeah. So these are gonna go in like this. And you wanna put the bottom in first, like so. And then, whoa, they do, they move good. Really cool. And then this guy's gonna go, they're all the same length, so you ain't gotta worry about putting them in wrong, just the wrong way. That guy did wanna go in. So you know, if it, if it doesn't wanna go in on these, I'm gonna say don't force it. I would say take it out and maybe try to take another avenue at it or maybe try to grab it in a different area because you break these it's over with unless you're really good at super gluing parts together and that's really sucks when you have something super glued together that's what I think at least so anyway that shit looks great right there I mean this dude's a fucking champ check it out sweet 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 there's that guy that's that and he's got some pretty cool looking guns here let's figure this out i'm gonna take the old hat off because i'm getting hot and take a drink real quick so yeah i encourage you today when you get done doing your shot or if you know a veteran or if you know a family member that's a veteran to call them and tell them thank you or if you see one on the street you know call them tell them thank you because you know they did some things over there and seen some stuff whenever they're over there doing those things that you and I will never know ever so just it's just a courtesy you know and um, where does this piece go I don't even know what that is. C four five. Okay, so this one's gonna go exactly like this one. I'm gonna put this part on. And he's gonna slide in like so, the back way. All right, and then the handle this way. And then, um, like what are these for though? Okay, I see that part, but like, 
there's some extra pieces here and you know I always have extra pieces every time those are on there these are different these are like for let me see see they do pretty good now, the other couple of instructions I had they didn't have these diagrams on there so it was kind of blah 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 you know so they're pretty cool pretty cool pretty cool so there we go and then I'm gonna say I don't know where those go but I do know that these here come off or they don't this guy's gun is gonna go in his hand and connect right there and then you're gonna turn his hand this way hold on let me get it to where now you're gonna get a grip around it and they go right in a slot right there underneath his arm and there's a slot and these have slots on them, so you never have to worry about them. This is so ingenious, man. You never have to worry about this dude dropping his weapon ever. I mean, I know that's part of the design of this guy, but I mean, God, man, can we come up with some good stuff like that? Or maybe even some upgradable 3D print stuff like that we can do for our clones and, you know, because doing a shot and pieces falling off it, man, and everything's just like, you know, when you're, when that's like that, oops. I think you want to be careful because you can break his thumb. So back off, put his thumb down under there like so, and then we'll get him around. Yeah, there you go. That's it. That's what I'm talking about. Is his thumb around over here? No, his thumb needs to go around. So that's what happens. So you can even take them off. You can take their hand completely off, which I do on some of them, and get the hand situated right on there the way you want to because all these joints move on the hand every last one of them every last one of them you get that for free you don't have to pay extra for it it comes with that figure man. It comes with the price you know it ain't no has lab maz lab stuff you know or whatever where you have to so they make these toys available to everybody and i'm glad joy toy does because the has lab thing i got one of those arcs up there i found it at ross and i paid only 60 bucks for it because that's what i thought it was worth I don't think they're worth no $400, $300 for a piece of plastic, man. You know, you got to give us a break, man. It's bad out there right now. And I know y'all need to make your money too, but man, don't drown us, man. You know? Come on, Hasbro and all them other, and Mattel and all them other major toy companies. So this is supposed to reach up in there and, and stay. These go up underneath here. There's a little place for these magazines right here. And it's like a storage so it goes up underneath there and that's pretty much him y'all let's put him on his uh, pedestal and then I'll bring the camera back down we'll mess around with him but that's him right there look pretty cool huh yep he's pretty dope let's get the guy out where's where's the guy go let's get him out real quick oh yeah blast you hear that my dog every time my dog hears that he's like right around the, she's like right around the corner She's out there though right now because she won't want to stay in here if I brought her in here. Anyway, oh this guy's got a few hands. You know, he comes with little hands too. Very small. You're going to want to find a place for I've been using all Rigo's stuff, but I'm going to put those back in that plastic and put them back in the box. So there he is. And like I said, these uh, 125th figures, their heads come off to change their helmet out. I think I'm not going to do that with this guy. See, there's his helmet. He has a helmet, but you have to change it out, pop the head off. Um, I don't think I'm going to change this guy's uh, head. So, yeah. Let's get these extra parts. And I don't know what this is. It's a gun of some sort. Yeah, that's a gun. So they, he has a holster too, right here, a holster. So let's put that on there good holster and then he has another gun right here which is cool so he's good like that see it I got his other look-alike I think it's called the um, orbital bomb no this is orbital bombarda it's the night assault type coming and I got another one coming it's the spaceship one so and then I still have the white uh, what is it, dual pilot mecha? So I went ahead and ordered the black one. So we'll box those two together. Boom. I wasn't gonna do that one today, but I decided to do this one because 
we're waiting on that other one still. So there it is. Everything moves on it. Joints are cool. Look, it even go back and forth. Joints do. Feet. No stiffness. I mean, there's stiffness, but like the stiffness you need on a thing. Only thing I found, I'm feeling right here is maybe the. Is it be pushed in a little more? There you go. Yeah. So if you find the joints a little loose, just push them up in. Maybe they ain't all the way in. You can take this thing completely apart, like completely break it down. I'm not doing that though, because you guys are crazy if you want me to do that. But anyway, let's put this guy in here, and then I'm gonna bring the camera back down to our size. See a little better. There we go. Check it out. Check him out. So there he is. These move back all the way. They go all the way back to here. They're on a pivot. I'm still trying to figure out what these are for, but like on the last one, they're just places, I guess, where you can take out these and you could put his gun up here and stuff to where it slides in so they're just extra and this one I don't know it's like a handle of some sort Oops, sorry but anyway really cool man look you can get them all the way down you can have them coming in his guns like I said they slide under his right here man it's dope that's just dope man I mean he's never gonna drop these look it goes where his arms go there is a limited range of motion but that's dope man I'm gonna have to do a shot with this guy this guy's outrageously just bad. You know, I do shots on my wall in the backyard if everybody wants to know where I always do my shots at and get those uh, bokeh uh, circles in the back. Well, I put my figure on the wall and I use my power shot. It's got 50 times optical on it and I stand about 30 feet away from my figure on the wall and about 40, maybe half a football field away from there, some trees in the middle of a circle in my neighborhood and the sun goes down in between there. So it's the sun, the trees, my figure, then my camera. So I'm zooming in on the figure and blurring out the sun coming through the leaves or the branches of the tree. And it makes that effect, which is probably my signature thing right now is the bokeh from the trees. And But I get that off my wall, but you can get it out anywhere. If you have the sun going down or coming up in the morning or a light source behind the trees. So yeah. So here he is. That's him. Hope you guys liked it, man. Um, I'm trying to get a little better at these videos. So size comparisons, one uh, twenty-fifth from a one fifteenth scale. Um, he does have his. Let's see where is that going at though? There's no place to put that though. Is this come? Oh yeah, you got to take the. So to get this on, I think you have to take. No, that comes off. That's not right. So that goes back on. So to get that off. I don't know where it goes. Oh, right here maybe? No. So where let's see. Instructions. Instructions. Where the hell are the fucking instructions? Here you go, kids. My videos are not for kids under 18. Sorry. I don't want your parents beating your ass. I don't want to be responsible for that. What the hell are you watching? Anyway. Um, okay. Yeah. So it does go back there. You do put that in the back. You put... Oh, no. It's up under here. Here we go. So he, he goes all the way up under here. Look. Construction. Junction. Function. Ah. My mother lives with me because... Um, so if y'all hear a ding dong, that means I'm gonna have to get up and cut the video, and then I'll be back. So I take care of take care of my mom. Just a heads up. There we go. He does. Whoa, whoa, Sally! This thing's pretty cool though. This little thing you can pose him while he's on here. So this is the stand. He's on the stand. Look how badass that is. That is friggin' badass. I don't care about Black Series anymore. I'm just joking. I love my Star Wars. They're all packed up, though. So what do you think, guys? Dope. Thumbnail. Anyway, good stuff there. I'm going to get him off there in case he decides to do a tumble off the thing. We're going to lay him down flat. 
Stands number one. Joy Toy, good deal, man. Thank you for making an awesome stand. The other stand y'all got for the dragon thing back here is a no bueno. No bueno. I don't like it. You need to make it a little stronger. It doesn't work too well um, to display that guy. But thanks for making the displays anyway. So, yeah. Let's see. So the knife's right here and then put everything up. I usually put everything back in the box, but I'll do that after we get off the video here. Um, yeah. Thanks guys for watching. Um, if you're not, please subscribe. You don't have to. I don't do these for subscriptions. I just do them to let people watch them. Maybe my grandkids will watch them one day and say, hey, granddad was crazy. Crazy dude. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for watching again, and I'll see you guys on Instagram. Uh, follow me there, Luke Hamstreet's Toys. Follow each other, like each other's work. Your work's all unique. Yeah, check it out.